Hello, I'm Ali from Kuki.com. In this quick overview video for the animated slider widget, I'm going to create a new animated slider from scratch in order to show you the different features that we have in this widget. The first thing you need to do is to place a composition widget on the page. And as soon as you drag and drop the animated slider widget inside the composition widget and preview the page, you have an animated slider. As easy as that. Inside the widget option panel, you have three different sections. The section at the top has the main controls. The second section can be used if you want to apply the widget to an object by graphic style name. And the third section can be used if you want to have a fully customized transition. Now let's change the look of the widget from the fill panel. Let's add an image. Change the fitting option and the position. Now let's say that the transition duration is one and the delay is one second as well. Now when I preview, before the animation starts, it waits one second because we have one second delay and it takes one second for the animation to happen. Now let's simulate a timeline by duplicating this widget and get a new copy and let's say that this is the first object and we want the second object which is this one to happen right after the first one. On the first one we have one second for the transition duration and one second for the delay so the second one needs to wait for two seconds before it happens. So when I preview the page in browser, the second one happens right after the first one and so forth. If we have the third object, because the second one has one second for the duration and two seconds for the delay, so it needs to have three seconds for the delay And it happens right after the second one. And this is basically all you need to do in order to create your own animated slider. You get also two different samples when you download this widget. And you don't have to start from scratch. You can start using these samples as well. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope you find this widget useful for your projects.